लेट्स डू वन मोर शीट मेटल एक्सरसाइज इन सॉलिड वर्क दिस इज एक्सरसाइज नंबर टू हंड्रेड नाइन डायमेंशंस आर इन मिलीमीटर ऑल चैम्फर्स फाइव मिलीमीटर ओके यू विल सी हियर वी हैव वन फ्लैट पैटर्न एंड टू साइड व्यू सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस फ्रंट व्यू लुक लेट मी जूम नाउ वी विल कंसिडर इन साइड डायमेंशन एंड थिकनेस वी विल कीप आउटसाइड see this radius 30 mm then this corner also 30 mm now distance from here to this end 17.5 plus 17 this is going to be 35 mm okay and uh, this is going to be 70 mm so let's do this and you will see this thickness 45 mm here so let's do this now before going let's click on tab go to tabs and here activate sheet metal okay now you have to first choose but before going to choose any plane just let me sure this is millimeter gram second unit okay okay let me choose here front plane sketch now i am going to activate here center point arc now start from center point origin point so click and drag your mouse and see you will see something like this click one end just move cursor and place other end now right click select and out now make one important relation select these two points hold shift key and make relation horizontal okay let me define draw one vertical line press escape key to out make sure this is vertical okay now again i am going to use here three point arc just create one something like uh, okay press escape key to out again activate line tool and draw one line right press escape key to out now this is a simple geometry let's make few important relation select this point you will see this pop up tangent this is important relation okay for this i am going to choose smart dimension radius 30 mm fine this radius also 30 mm fine now select this end 17.5 enter okay now here one important relation balance now select this point tangent look it seems fully defined this sketch mirror entity now here select these two arc and line make sure you selected copy because i want to copy this line mirror about this line okay now look okay this is still under defined smart dimension now distance from one end to center point and this is going to be 70 mm look this is fully defined sketch simply exit and activate boss flange tab look check normal view now look material thickness move inside so activate go to direction 1 keep mid plane now here 45 see material flowing both side okay now thickness i am going to keep 2 mm but according to our drawing material should be move outside so here select reverse direction look material moving outside now radius by default 2 mm we will keep 2 mm k factor by default 0.5 we will keep as it is and rest we will keep as it is okay now let's add this cut out 60 25 3.5 6 and this is located at the center of this body so how you will add uh, we will do in two two stage let first unfold then we will add this cut out just remember this dimension this is located at center you will see distance given this half of this you will see 
now i am going to activate unfold okay i am going to select this one face and either you can select all the bendings or simply select collect all bend now see the all bends are selected here okay now it's open select this face sketch activate here center point arc okay before going to do this let me select one line and create one line from this end to this end press escape key to out because i want to apply start from center point see this is the mid point now i am going to select center point straight slot and i am going to start from this point again i am going to start from this point press escape key to out now apply some dimensions this is going to be 6 mm 3.5 mm now the length 25 mm and let me select these length 60 mm now you will see the preview okay now i want to cut so here we have one option called extruded cut simply click and activate now here we have more than one close profile so in selected contour we have to choose the area 1 2 3 4 5 now these are the areas now look here we selected blind so we have to apply the thickness but if you simply choose link to thickness it will cut only up to the thickness no need to apply any dimension even if you change thickness it will cut simply say okay look now go to sheet metal and fold now see by default the face fix face selected collect all bend okay see now let's add this bending you will see here 18 mm this bending and uh, this is going to up to end of this so 33.34 and uh, you will see from here 53 45 minus 53 it's going to be 8 mm it means bend going to start from outside i will show you how and there is a chamfer 5 mm at corner activate edge flange okay now first i am going to select edge one now you can move your cursor in which direction you want to move so i am going to select this end now again i am going to select this end now if i am going to select this opposite end it will move opposite side because this is the direction what we selected see see if i am going to move all move together now if you want to change radius or thickness you can do it from here but bend radius we will keep as it is thickness by default this is going to be same okay bending angle this is going to be 90 degree if you want to change you can do it but we will keep as it is now look this is going to be 18 mm opposite direction now second you have to choose outer virtual sharp now here we have to use bend material inside outside or bend outside let me choose bend outside if you see from this end to this end this is going to be 53 we will measure it okay rest we don't want to apply any corner simply say yes now look these two end point we selected and here you will see at bottom distance 53 mm this is what i want activate corner break corner corner trim 
now type i want to keep chamfer 5 mm c you can select the edge one by one or simply choose face see this will detect the corner and apply simply i am going to select this face this face okay now here it's applied now there is a hole 7 mm hole and uh, 7 mm from this end and this is located at center at both side then here one oblong also 5 mm 22 mm and this is uh, fixed at center you will see so i am going to select this face sketch now activate circle click and 7 enter press escape key to out smart dimension now this is going to be from this end 7 mm okay this should be lies at center so simply i am going to select center line and if i move my cursor you will see this yellow dot this is midpoint so connect this midpoint with this press escape key to out now look this line is not horizontal if you want to see constrained there is one option you have to activate sketch relation see if you activate this you will see this relations select this line horizontal now you will see this green sketch relation now here i am going to select go to sheet metal extruded cut now in this condition link to thickness won't work so simply i am going to choose through all through all means this face is end of the body so this is going to cut up to end of the body simply i am going to say for start condition we will keep same in this situation say okay right plane go to feature and activate mirror and uh, mirror feature so simply drop down and choose this extruded cut you will see full preview look this is first hole and this is going to be apply okay now let me choose this face sketch now activate here center point straight slot press escape key to out now okay this is horizontal smart dimension 22 and radius going to be 5 and distance from bottom edge cancel 16 point five okay okay this is I think fully defined because the center point is lies on this so press and hold shift keys midpoint of this line and select origin point and make sure vertical now go to sheet metal same here activate extruded cut feature in this condition i am going to keep start condition same direction through all because this is going to now look this face this line is the end line of this body so this is going to cut up to end of this face say okay look real view if you want to apply material right click edit material aisi 304 apply you will see all the details here close even if you don't like this appearance you can simply go to appearance sheet metal steel brushed steel double click or drag it it will apply see okay if you want there is one option called flatten see normal look if you want to save this one right click 
एंड एक्सपोर्ट टू डी एक्स एफ और ड्राॅइंग नाउ लेट मी सेव दिस पार्ट टू और समेर इन आर डिस्टॉप सेव नाउ हियर एक्सपोर्ट शीट मेटल एंड वट थिंग्स डू यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपोर्ट लाइक हिडन एज बेंड लाइन यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सपोर्ट दीज आर द बेंडिंग लाइन्स वट एल्स फॉर्मिंग टूल देर इज नो फॉर्मिंग बाउंडिंग बॉक्स दीज आउटर बॉक्स लाइन्स आर कॉल्ड बाउंडिंग बॉक्स कॉस्मेटिक थ्रेड देर इज नो कॉस्मेटिक थ्रेड्स ओके सेव नाउ इट विल टेक फ्यू सेकेंड नाउ लुक दिस इज द प्रीव्यू सी ऑल द बेंडिंग लाइन कम हियर सिंपली सेव नाउ दीज ड्रॉइंग सेव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डी एक्स एफ फाइल यू कैन सिंपली एक्सपोर्ट इट फॉर मशीनिंग अनफ्लैटन डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर लाइक अवर वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड मोर प्रोजेक्ट इन सॉलिड वर्क थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग